Well, I figured out my plan on the front panel board. I will take my wire, pull these off of another case. So, take the, let's see, where's the power wire? The power wire is black and white. So I'll take the black and white, solder one end right there, solder the other end, the other wire right there. Then I'll take a knife, I'll cut the circuit board right there, cut a little gap out of it to break the circuit. Same over here, so that it'll isolate the switch. We're not going to use any. The only thing the circuit board's doing is a mount for the switches. So we'll slot our wire there and there. The reset, do the same there and there. This one's not going to matter because we're not going to use it. We'll cut the circuit board there and there to isolate the switch. And then on the back, we'll solder our power LED wires on there and there. And then cut here and there and that'll isolate the LED and then I've got an extra red LED I pulled out of the case I'm gonna pull out I don't have the front panel with me I left it at home it won't work now but I'm gonna pull the uh, button out of the front panel for whatever this was it's got a little plastic uh, button that's about that long that you know, you push and it reaches through and pushes this switch. I'm going to pull it out and glue in a red LED and make that the hard drive light. Because there's no hard drive light on the case. So, and I'm not going to use that button. So we'll have a hard drive light now. So I will uh, start soldering this. I was going to bring, I brought my Dremel tool and soldering iron and everything with me to work Dremel tools in there but I left my cutting desk at home so I'm not going to get around to cutting that till I get home I was hoping to get that cut out and get the motherboard mounted but I won't have time so I'll work on that I did bring everything I needed to do the front panel circuit board so we'll go ahead and do that I've got everything soldered on see power wire and the other power wire to make it easier soldering I taped them down to hold them in place then I soldered the wires on making sure not to connect the solder to the metal case because as you're soldering this it wants to if you're not careful it'll connect to the little shielded cover on the switch then the same thing right there, and then on the back, I've got the LED soldered on. So now, all we've got to do is take our knife and cut the board, cut a gap out of the circuit to isolate these switches so we're not going through any of this stuff here and then on the other ends we've got our connectors for the motherboard reset switch which goes to there the power switch goes to there and our power LED and then here's the the extra LED that I'm going to glue into the case for the hard drive. And then we've also got our wire for our PC speaker, which we will pull this out. And solder those wires onto here. Take this off and redo this.
So, I've almost got all the stuff we didn't need for the circuit board. Just to show you how we, uh, or how I'm doing this, this camera doesn't focus very good, but I've already done, if you can see that little white spot, that is where I've cut out a little piece of the circuit board. Another one right there. So all we do, let me get this thing to focus better. take, we put, we cut right there, cut kind of deep, and then like a millimeter over, we cut another one, and we make sure we cut through real good, and then we take our knife and we stick under the piece where we've cut in between, and we pop that piece out, so like right here, we popped it out, and so it's showing the white underneath, you know, the inner part of the circuit board. Same over here. And so that isolates the switch, because it's no longer connected through the circuit board way over to here. We've taken that part out. And if you ever wanted to put it back together, you could you know, scrape some of the green coating off to where you get to the copper and then just solder it back together right there, but this should work fairly well. So we've got this one isolated. Now we've just got to do this one and the LED. So we've got four more places to cut. Well, I'm done. I've got everything isolated. You can see my little white scratches in the circuit board. This camera's horrible about focusing, but you can kind of tell. And when I get home, I'll probably pull the tape off and maybe put a little dab of hot glue on each wire just to kind of make sure that they don't pull out, but they are soldered in good. So we've got the, it sits in the case like this got a long button on the front that comes in and pushes the power button. So that's our wires for the power button. And then it's got a long button that comes through to push the reset button. So here's a reset button. The power LED, which white lights up the button white. And then in the back you can see my wires for the LED. I just brought them in through this little hole in the board to get them to the top side. Now they mount in this tray. The circuit board just sits in there and it's got these little tabs. See there's one right there, one right there, and there's one right there. So I just took a screwdriver, pushed this one in so I could pull the circuit board out. Then I'll just set it back in there and push the tab back out on the back side and it'll hold it in and then this just snaps into the case and then we'll take the plastic front panel pull the this other button out of the plastic front panel and we'll glue in our hard drive light so that's it and by the way I did take my voltmeter and I went through and I tested you know, by putting one lead on here and then I tested all around made sure that none of this was still connected in any way I tested on each one just to make sure and everything was isolated 